everyone, welcome to the day after the uh, challenge, Mary's mini diet, Mary's mini McDougal diet challenge. And this is how much I weighed this morning. And so it looks like a difference of 6.2 pounds from 10 days ago. And this is what my blood pressure is. The heat of summer is fading. The winds are far away. Spin me out of Spin me out of The winds of change are a coming. From your news, I'll be running. Don't spin me out of Spin me out of You saw every single thing I ate, except I still had some black coffee in the morning. Before I started the diet, I drank black coffee in the morning, and then I was getting up to two soy lattes a day, pretty much. So I was already dealing with some caffeine withdrawal. I knew if I just tried to cut it out completely, I wouldn't do, I would not do the diet. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I could take care of my son very well if I did that. I really enjoy just eating when I was hungry. I did not count calories. So that, those are two requirements that I have for a diet. I just, I, I don't know. It was really nice because I kind of learned how to eat when I was hungry. And that was a big part of it. I also really enjoyed how I reduced a lot of decision fatigue. I think it can happen to people that like to learn about nutrition is that you can kind of get overwhelmed and you feel like you need to, you know, either get all your daily dozen in or just, you know, you have these categories that you need to like finish, even though you're not hungry, you might go ahead and eat it anyway. So the other thing is I have decision fatigue just as a parent because I have to make so many choices for my son, even based on food. So it was really nice for me just to be like, this is what I'm gonna eat. And every meal I was not, I didn't have to think about it very much. I don't like spicy things. So my choice of condiments are gonna be more limited than other people. And if someone, I can see people looking at it and just being like, that's not enough protein. That's not enough food. I could not do that. The good news is, is you could eat much more than I did. Um, you can eat as much as you want. You just eat until you're full. You eat when you're hungry. And I also, the first day I did measure everything and I put everything in chronometer because I knew that people would say I wasn't getting enough protein. I calculated on the description box on the first day it's how much protein I need for my weight and I then listed how much protein I got on that day. So everyone's, you know, diet on this is gonna look really different or could. Um, I was also much less active than usual. Normally we go out, we run, we go to two to three different places every day. We live in a small apartment so we get out a lot. If you have a three-year-old in a small apartment, you don't want to stay there all day. And we do that and then we usually try to walk outside for an hour. If the weather is really not good, we will walk inside somewhere for an hour. So we didn't do that. I didn't do any of that for the 10 days. I think that's why a lot of the days I just wasn't eating much besides it being repetitive and the other thing is I was a little more sleep deprived than usual because my son is sick and waking up a lot and also um, sometimes his night sleep isn't as long as it was because he was taking his daytime naps on me and I let him because he's sick and congested and it's just easier for him to sleep. So I'm not sure if I would lose any weight or if I would have lost any more if I was more active and getting more sleep. I, I would obviously be eating more, but whatever. It was still a really good experience. I usually eat the most when I am stuck at home all day, which is part of the motivation for me to get out. So it was, it was a good experience for me and I would do it again. If you ask me tomorrow to do, it, to do 10 days with russet potatoes, I could do it. But I actually have a lot of food at home that I need to finish up. Like we have a lot of freezer food to eat. So I'm gonna eat that cause it's like homemade whole food plant-based food and I'm not gonna waste it. Going forward, I'm just gonna be eating my
my food that I already have. And this is nice to know that this is a tool that I have in the future if my eating is getting a little out of control as far as um, having too many lattes or whatever it is. I don't know, it was 10 days, it wasn't like, that's kind of what I told myself on the first two days when I was really having a hard time with some cravings. Normally I eat chocolate every single day. So thank you for watching, that's all I think I have to say about that. <laughs> and um, I will see you next time.